Hey, what's going on, boys and girls? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, the number one place to be for news, reviews, interviews, and more in the world of Impact Wrestling. Please hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up before you go as well. So if you follow Impact Wrestling on social media, you already know that they have added Alicia Toot in what seems to be an official capacity as a backstage interviewer. For Impact Wrestling, she's worked the one night only in Twitch shows. And she has her own brand, her uh, YouTube channel and her website, Ambi, where she interviews independent stars, interviewed a whole shitload of Impact stars, and then music artists as well. She is phenomenal what she does. She's the best at what she does. An absolute up-and-comer in this wrestling world when it comes to this backstage interview gig. And she's absolutely beautiful, too. When you, when you hear people talk about someone's personality making them even more attractive, that is Alicia to a T. She's very good, very natural, and very passionate at what she does. And she's a tremendous addition to the Impact team and should really provide some great backstage work. That being said, what I'm being told is that Mackenzie Mitchell is out officially. She hasn't said anything on Twitter but if you look at her Twitter, there's no mention of Impact Wrestling. She has not retweeted any of the pertinent news as of late. And as a matter of fact, she has actually left Nashville and moved to Los Angeles. And she said, on to a new adventure. So you can kind of put two and two together that um, we may see her for the next couple shows in Orlando. And who knows, maybe we'll see her in the future when they do uh, stuff in the States. I'm being told there's a possibility that Bound for Glory and the subsequent tapings will be in Orlando. But let's just hope um, they keep this Canadian thing going. So this makes a lot of sense from a financial standpoint because Alicia lives in Canada. And uh, frankly, she's she's better at the job. I mean, Mackenzie was doing a uh, very good job and had grown quite a bit. I bet, I bet she's the first person to tell you she doesn't want to watch her old stuff with Impact. They give her a lot of... Uh, roles and pre-shows and, and things like that and and at first she was extremely robotic extremely nervous and i think she even did a good job with a little bit of ring announcing that she did i'm surprised they couldn't turn her communications background into another role within the company but it looks like they chose to go the route that you know probably makes more financial sense and um again you know i hate to say i hate to compare the two because but alicia's better at what she does but she's better than everybody and uh, it sucks because, uh, you know, Mackenzie's one of those people that you felt you felt like she was going to be along, uh, be around. I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over myself today, uh, that she was going to be around for the long haul with the company. She really looked like someone that was fitting in within the family and everything. I think she was a Dixie Carter hire, though. So it kind of makes sense. You know, the new guys come in, they kind of want to use their people. She probably Alicia probably has a longstanding relationship with Scott Demore. You know, put two and two together and business decisions are going to be made that uh, make sense in all areas. So let's hope we see good things from, you know, Mackenzie going forward. I'm sure that she's going to do, um, you know, pursue modeling and everything more, you know, moving out to Los Angeles. That is a land of opportunity. So let's hope really good things happen for her because she um, she really gave it her all for the company and she was really a company girl. And from what I remember with her she did not grow up a wrestling fan so i think she you know as time went i think she really rolled with the punches and i think she seamlessly integrated in with what impact was doing she was there through some of the dark times there with uh billy corgan and dixie and all that so she's been around a while and i think we all like her very much so it kind of sucks to see her go if that is in fact what is happening but Alicia's the best possible person. You know, if they were going to say, hey, we're going to replace Mackenzie, this is the person to do it with. And, you know, this is not someone we want to see go to NXT or anything like that. We want her here in Impact Wrestling. That looks like what has happened. So we'll see what happens going forward. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.